Well, WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall joins us live now to answer some of your coronavirus questions. Doctor, great to see you. Let's get right to the first question. Kim asking on Facebook, my son's vaccinated girlfriend tested positive for COVID. How long before she can come over to our house? She had a lot of symptoms the first week, but now has none. So anytime someone tests positive, they really should stay isolated for five days away from other people. If after five days they're feeling better, then they can come out of isolation, but they have to continue to wear a mask around other people for an additional five days because they still could be contagious. If it's been more than 10 days since your son's girlfriend has developed symptoms and she's feeling fine, then she can probably come back into your house without a mask unless there is someone in the home who is high risk, in which case I would wait a couple more days uh, all right leo is asking is it still necessary to and this is his word insanely clean groceries <laughs> and surfaces to prevent covid well, not insanely, Leo, but, um, you know, we still believe that the coronavirus is spread predominantly through the air. But there was a recent study out of Japan that found that the Omicron variant lasted on plastic surfaces and on the skin longer than other variants. They think maybe that's one reason why it's more transmissible than the other variants. Now, fortunately, all of the variants, including Omicron, were very sensitive to alcohol-based sanitizer. So I wouldn't do anything insane, but it's a reminder to continue to wash our hands frequently, use hand sanitizers, and to wipe off public surfaces just in case you could transmit it to your, your nose or your mouth through your fingers. That might be my favorite advice I've ever heard from you. Don't do anything insane. I really like that, Dr. Malika Marshall. Thank <laughs> Nothing <you>. insane. <laughs> Thank you so much. Dr. Malika <laughs> offers her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before making any decisions about your health. If you have a question for Dr. Malika, three ways to reach her. Her email, drmalika at cbs.com. On Twitter, the handle is at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall.